I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm glad to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. In Proverbs chapter 8, where we've been reading for the last couple of mornings, we read about, we've read about divine wisdom and how it is personifying itself in Proverbs chapter 8 and calling itself, and it's being called a she, a her. And if you understand that ahead of time, that makes the text a little bit more understandable. Verse 11 says, the fear of the Lord, excuse me, verse 11 says, for wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may, de may be desired are not to be compared to it. The value of wisdom is that it's more valuable than gemstones. And everything that would be compared to it is undesirable compared to divine wisdom. And verse 12 and 13 say, I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy in the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. And I'm thinking of verse 12 where the Bible says, I dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. And this is talking about deceptions, deceits, things that would cause people to be drawn aside and cause them to make missteps in their life. And there's a whole lot out there that's deceitful and contrary to divine wisdom. But the Bible says wisdom helps people to see through those things. The wisdom of God raises red flags in a person's life when they are confronted with error or with deceitfulness. And that's why verse 12 says what it says, I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. There are those who would seek to deceive and mislead, but the wisdom of God will keep that from happening in so many cases. And then in verse 13, the Bible speaks of the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth. Do I hate? There are a number of things that will be despised and abhorred by people who really genuinely fear the Lord. And this fear is not a quaking, terrorized type of uh, attitude, but rather it's deep reverence and deep respect, the fear of the Lord. And it creates a lot of positive things in a person's life. For example, he mentions hating evil and pride and arrogance in the evil arrogancy in the evil way and the froward mouth. These are things that wisdom causes a person to extremely dislike, to abhor, to hate even. The Bible says that divine wisdom will chase away arrogancy and pride in the evil tongue and those kinds of things and evil in the heart will be pursued, will be convicted by divine wisdom wisdom. We just really need to fill our lives with the wisdom of God. That's what we need. We are sinners by nature and we'll make the wrong choices if we're left to ourselves, but with the potential to possess wisdom from God himself, we have the ability to see through things and we have the ability to have godly desires. It goes back to the condition of the heart and divine wisdom is a huge part of that. Just ask God to give you his wisdom today and help you to see things as he sees them. God bless you today.